when Emmy and Chris discuss feminism. <laughs> Terms that you become used to in academia get interpreted like in a similar way, but different too. Like in a connected way, but yeah. totally different if you're talking to someone, you know, outside of academia. Like I'm trying to think of another example. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to, I keep trying to think of other examples of things that like a word that I will use. I think this comes up a lot with like, uh, sexism and feminism or like a lot oh, of times feminism, for sure. if I'll be talking about feminism, like there, there's that obvious like negative stereotype that, you know, people have a lot, but it, it seems like in academia, anytime something is like sexist or has to do with sexism, we just put it under feminism or we start talking using the word feminism and sexism is more of like a, mm. I don't know, a pop culture thing to use. So I think people get confused if I say feminism and not mean sexism, but I'm trying to point out that something's sexist and they're like, what does that have to do with feminism? I don't know. It just seems like another thing right. that is, comes up constantly in academia. And then I try mm. to throw it out there with like other people and they're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I got in such a fight with someone the other day about feminism, actually. Okay, so I read this article, and the statistics are completely wrong because my memory for statistics is not the best. It's going to be one of those fabricated statistics, but you just have to (laughs) be with me in spirit. So I was reading this article about how even in households where women are the primary breadwinners, like they still do 70% of women still do the majority of the housework. 70%, right? A large percentage. I forget the actual percent, but it was, you know, it was high. And um, I was talking about this with someone, and they're like, yeah, but, you know, at least 30% of of women don't do all the housework, (laughs) do half or less. So that means that, you know, that means that there's progress. And I was like, no, that's not what it means. (laughs) I got so mad. (laughs) And I, like, had such a hard time talking about it because I was like I mean that's like saying the problem doesn't exist or it's not important and you know I mean right. I understand the desire to focus on the positives so right you have to think about what that statistic actually means yeah and like yeah. and I remember us having this discussion about how a lot of times our students would get so depressed and they would really want to focus on the positive and it wasn't right. that they ignore that racism exists but they were like I need to wake up in the morning and have a reason to like keep living and like feel some sort of happiness at some point and I totally get that too I feel like um academics to other people are like so depressing because we want to fix things all the time so we're focusing on like the problems but that's funny I I feel like I'm um turning my mom into like a little feminist and because I'll hear her like saying things that are similar to like long like not lectures that I've given her but you know I go on and on with her about things that I find interesting or whatever and and she was talking about um we're talking about people who are married um and especially like guys oftentimes if they are hanging out with their friends they're like oh man this is the only time I get to like drink and party or whatever because I'm away from my family and like what does that mean and stuff and my mom's like oh yeah I think you totally need that time to get away and and when you were a baby you know I would have my girls nights and all the guys would get together and babysit the kids and then the guys would have their guys days and she was like but it always had to be like hey guys we have to ask you nicely will you watch the kids for us like while we go out and it's like this big deal that they babysat the kids but the guys would just be like oh we're going fishing today and then the women watch the kids and it's like not a big deal at all so it's just so cute that she like pointed that out and I was like that's something I that I've, I've probably done 15 million <laughs> times, and now you're doing it, too. <laughs> that is adorable. Yeah. My mom does that, too, and it's, it's so cute. Like, she'll just, like, <laughs> you know, notice something. And I do think that noticing things is really important. I yeah. think the next step is, you know, deconstructing why that is and, and uh, I don't know, maybe having a problem with it. I don't know. Right. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's necessarily the next step. I don't know if I always have a problem with the things that I notice. Mm -hmm. I don't don't know. Like, I'm very aware that a lot of the things that I do are probably anti-feminist, and yet I do them anyway, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. um, It's always a struggle, but I think noticing it is important at first. Yeah. 